Good evening. I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Monique Tostelid. And this is the Fake News. President Bush last week reversed the decision announced two years ago to cut funding to the NASA space program after he pledged an additional $40 billion in the upcoming budget to continue work on deep space contact. There was no immediate comment on just what brought about this change, except for a recent report from the National Enquirer that said space aliens had backed Bush in the recent election. U.S. food giant McDonald's, the official food of the Olympic athletes, announced a new upcoming promotion for next year's Olympics. They're going to be offering, my gosh, it's a, uh, a large drink, a sandwich, and they'll test your urine for steroids and keep the glass. California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, no story, I just still can't believe I'm saying that. And now, Monique with some financial news. Hello. High price of gas getting you down? Well, I happen to have some really hot inside tips for some mergers that are coming up. So here's your opportunity to get in on the ground floor, pony up those bucks, and put them in your pocket. Hale Business Systems is merging with Mary Kay Cosmetics, Fuller Brush Company, and Grace, W.R. Grace. Become Hail Mary Fuller Grace. Polygram Records and Warner Brothers are joining Zesta Crackers, becoming Polly Warner Cracker. 3M and Goodyear are becoming mmm good. FedEx decided to join its competitor UPS and will now be known as FedUp. And finally, Victoria's Secret is merging with Smith & Wesson and will become Titty Titty Bang Bang. Back to you, Chris. Well, thank you, Monique. Those sound like tips that we can all use. Our final story tonight, American Airlines said Wednesday that they're predicting a loss of 51 cents per share or about $80 million for the quarter ending March 1st. Chairman and Chief Executive Don Carty said despite the effects of the hurricanes last year, soaring jet fuel prices, they're doing all they can to get Americans back up in the air and flying. With that, the airline announced their new no-frill super saver flights. Carty said these flights will save passengers money by eliminating in-flight meals, movies, and most human rights. For The Fake News, I'm Chris Shaw. And I'm Monique Tossalad. Thank you, and good night. Good night.